Hello, this is Stan from GPT for Sheets. I will explain the GPT fill function, which enables you to fill a range basically that is uh, that has some hole uh, with based on some examples. Okay, so here you see I have a list of dirty full names uh, in the sense that there is different capitalizations. Uh, there is some. There are some titles. Some don't have titles. Some have emojis. Some don't. All I want is clean full names and uh, the uh, optional title. So what I will do is I will type GPT fill. Okay. I will give the range of examples here, and then the range that needs to be filled. And GPT fill does the rest. There we go. That's great. Uh, so it got everything right, the capitalizations and the titles. Now let's see another example. So here I have a list of products uh, and I want to write a headline and some tags. So I have already generated some headlines and some tags with GPT, but now I will do the rest of the table with GPT fill based on those examples. So here I give the example range and then the rest of the products and GPT fill will do the rest. In a few seconds, the headlines and the tags will appear for all products. So there you go. Okay. Um, but this is good, but what if I have a new product here? Um, now I need to go into my range and augment it to uh, 15 and then it's gonna recompute everything. So that's not really great. Um, what I really want to do is to be able to drag a formula so that when I add uh, another, let's say, a phone uh, or a kite or a surfboard uh, so that I can just drag the formula, uh, which I cannot do from here. As you can see, it does nothing because the formula is up there. Um, okay, so how can you do that? Well, actually, it's really easy you just have to go one by one so what i just showed you works best if your the size of your table is fixed but if you're if the if, you, if you're going to add some rows to your table uh you shouldn't do it this way so what you should do instead is uh, basically change the formula here so that first of all the example range is vertically fixed so you can do that this way by adding some dollars next to the left of the numbers this will fix it vertically uh and so that when you drag the formula, uh, the, this example range stays fixed. And then you just give it a one row uh, input range. And this will remove, of course, everything. And it will just fill this row, in this case. And now what you can do is drag the formula down until whatever you want. There you go. And then if you want to add, I don't know, uh, an umbrella to your catalog. Well, you can then drag this and it will work. Okay, well, so that's, I think that's a really great formula uh, function, uh, GPT fill. Um, so as always, please comment uh, under the video. Tell me what works, what doesn't. Uh, do not hesitate to uh, provide as much feedback, feedback as you can. It really helps us improve the product. And um, do not forget to subscribe uh, on the channel. Thank you.